Our lesson goal for today, we'll be dealing with the commutative property, which states that the order in which we add or multiply doesn't matter. We're still going to end up with equivalent expressions. This doesn't hold true for division and subtraction. When we take a look at this multiplication chart, I'm going to cross out all the ones that are pretty easy to learn to memorize. We're left with these four pockets of numbers. If we put a line through the diagonal, those are perfect squares. Now notice 48. If I multiply my row times my column, 8 times 6, I get 48. But then this 48 here is 6 times 8. When we're trying to learn on multiplication, it's not like we have 100 pairs of numbers to memorize. It's more like 55 pairs. Associative property. Instead of changing the order in which you multiply, we're going to just change the grouping by just sliding the parentheses, either sliding the parentheses to the right or to the left when we are adding or multiplying. This does not hold true when we are dividing and subtracting. By the end of this lesson, I'll be able to identify the commutative and associate properties of addition and multiplication. Our essential question is, how does the commutative and associate property help when simplifying expressions? All parts of arithmetic equations have names. In addition, add-ins are the numbers that are added together to give a sum. In subtraction, the subtrahend is taken away from the menuin to give a difference. In multiplication, factors are multiplied to give a product. In division, a dividend is divided by a divisor to give a quotient. Remember, a division symbol is just a fraction where the numerator and denominator are replaced with dots. When you commute the position, all you have to do is switch their position. When we look at the following, which statements are true? 9 plus 3 is 12, and 3 plus 9 is also 12, so this is true. 9 minus 3 is 6, and 3 minus 9 is negative 6, so this is not true. 9 times 3 is 27, and 3 times 9 is also 27, so this is true. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 3 divided by 9 is 1 third. This is not true. The community property of addition and multiplication states that you can add real numbers in any order, and you can also multiply real numbers in any order. Let's take a look at the associative property. Say you have two best friends. Sometimes you associate with one of them, and sometimes you associate with the other. So in this particular case, let's take a look at the grouping. We have A plus B, and all we have to do is slide the parentheses to the right, and we have B plus A. We could also slide the parentheses to the left and go back to A plus B. Which of the following are true? So when we take a look at this one, in the first one, we're going to add the 9 plus 3 first, and that leaves us with 8 plus 12. In the second one, we're going to add the 8 plus 9 first, and that gives us 17 plus 3. 8 plus 12 is 20, as well as 17 plus 3, so this is true. When we look at the subtraction one, we're going to go 3 minus 2 first, and that's going to give us 8 minus 1. And 8 minus 3 gives us 5 minus 2. 8 minus 1 is 7. And 5 minus 2 is 3. And as you can see, 7 does not equal 3. When we look at the multiplication, we're going to multiply the 3 times 4 first on the expression to, on the left side and 2 times 3 first on the expression on the right side. So this gives us 2 times 12 and 6 times 4. 2 times 12 is 24 as well as 6 times 4. So therefore, it is a true statement. When we're dividing, we're going to divide the 9 and the 9 first on the left side, and the 9 and the 3 on the right side. This is going to give us 1 divided by 3 on the left, 9 divided by 3 on the right. 1 divided by 3 is just 1 third, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. The associate property of addition and multiplication states, when you are only adding, changing the grouping will not change the sum. When you are only multiplying, changing the grouping will not change the product. Explain how you can add the sum in your head. You may want to pause before I begin. Let's take a look. We should notice that 11 plus 9 is 20. A positive 8 plus 12 is also 20. And a positive 13 plus 7 is also 20. 20 plus 20 plus 20 or 20 times 3 is 60. Expressions with the same value like 8 plus 6 and 6 plus 8 are called equivalent expressions. 
you can use properties such as the commutative, associative properties, and others to write equivalent expressions. Let's simplify the expression and justify each step. The reason why we're doing this is the problem we were given. So we write given. Now, our goal is to add the 8.1 plus the 15. In order to do this, all we have to do is slide the parentheses to the left. Once I slide my parentheses to my left, I have a grouping of 8.1 plus 15. We achieve this by using the associate property of addition. Now, all we have to do is add 8.1 plus 15 is 23.1. So we're left with 23.1 plus x. Let's take a look at this next example. The reason why we have this problem is because they gave it to us, so we say given. If I try to slide my parentheses to the right using a social property like we did in the last example, I won't have the grouping that I'm looking for. I'm looking to have the 3 eighths to be grouped with the 1 eighth. So in this particular case, what I want to do is change the order in which I'm adding, which is the commutative property. So instead of writing 3 eighths plus x, I'm going to write x plus 3 eighths. Now I can use my associative property to slide the parentheses to the right. So now I have the grouping that I'm looking for using the associative property of addition. All I have to do now is add my numerators and reduce. We're going to simplify the expression by dividing the numerator and denominator each by 4. And we have x plus 1 half. Let's take a look at the last example. In this particular case, we're given this problem to simplify. I want to multiply the 8 times the 12, so I'm going to slide my parentheses to the left. So now I have 8 times 12. Remember, parentheses means multiplication. So when I'm reading this, this is 8 times 12m, or 8 times 12 times m. Now I have 8 times 12m, or 8 times 12 times m. I achieve this by using the associate property of multiplication. 8 times 12 is 96. So I have 96 times m or just 96m. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching our video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.